Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a low-poly terrain. I will start in this new brand new project uh, called my low-poly game. Uh, I'm going to start by importing the uh, low-poly package. For you this is going to come from the asset store obviously. Um, but I'm going to import it from here. Grab everything. And now I will create a new low-poly terrain. I can do this through the game object uh, menu here, or I could uh, alternatively create uh, a game object by hand and add the low poly terrain component. But I'll just do this. So I have here my terrain uh, has the low poly terrain component on it, and uh, the two main uh, data uh, assets that it needs are uh, a height map and a color map. So I have included a couple uh, maps with the asset and I will just drop them in the height map right here and the color map right here and hit generate. Of course I need to save my scene first so I'll do this save the scene I'm going to call it main and then generate the meshes. And there we have it. This is our terrain. It's, you know, faceted, as you can see. It uh, is pretty large. And the data that goes along with it was saved right here under the uh, main directory that was created based on the name of the scene. And it has a faceted uh, chunk asset. And, you know, if you expand it, you can see all of the meshes that are stored in there. The uh, the terrain is pretty much ready to go, so let's just actually try it. And to do this, I'm going to drop in um, an airplane, right, from the standard packages. So let's just uh, import the vehicles. I don't need all the vehicles. I don't need the cars, but I want the aircrafts. Import those. We'll drop one in the scene and fly around our level. All right, I imported the standard asset. I'm going to go grab one of the prefabs, uh, aircraft jet. That sounds good. Uh, make sure it's above the ground. There we go. I'll move it up. Uh, turn it around some. There we go. And I will attach the camera to it. Make sure the camera is oriented properly. I see that it's a little, I think it's underneath the plane right now, but I, I like a third person type of view. So we'll do this. Move it maybe a little further. There we go. Uh, and I also need to make sure that my draw distance is, is large enough, so let's make it 10,000. Our terrain is 4,000, but since there's nothing to render past that, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, it would affect other things like the Z fighting and all that, but we don't, we don't worry about that too much. Um, and I think this is it. I'm going to save the scene. and launch the game. There we go. We have our plane flying around our terrain. You can see the, the, the LODs fading in, right, as we get closer. And of course they're fading out also as we get further, but we're moving forward, so we're not really going to see that happening um, behind us. And there we go. You know, the collision works. Oop, there we go. See? See, acidic terrain. Woohoo! What do you mean? Oh shit. Oh, uh, well. It's a good, good point as any to stop. And there you have it. That's the basic setup of uh, a low poly terrain system. 